first off, congratulations on the film. Thank you so much. Uh, a really fantastic film, but also a very important film. Uh, I can imagine there was many reasons for you to get involved, but what was kind of your first entry to this? Because I know Mark has been trying to, to get this off the ground for a while. It all happened fairly quickly, actually. And it, it, it came to me in 2017. This is only a year after the New York Times story broke that it's based on. And there was already a first draft of the script that, that he first presented to me. And it was the basically the next year when our schedule sort of aligned and it seemed possible for it to be something I could do. Um, but of course, it, the, the story is astonishing and and out, makes you feel outraged and makes and it's, and it's and it's incredibly relevant to what's going on and it's an ongoing issue that people need to know about but i'm a dramatic filmmaker you know i'm not a i'm not an activist i'm not a documentarian and so it was the genre of the film and the way it reminded me of films that I've always loved, I think that really made me want to take it on as a, as a challenge. I've never done a movie quite like this, but I'm, I'm such a, an ardent fan of the Alan Pakula paranoia trilogy of the 1970s, including All the President's Men, of films that would follow Silk, Mike Nichols' film Silkwood in the 80s and The Insider, Michael Mann's gorgeous film in the 90s. And they all share a similar sense of, of course, people standing up to systems of power and corruption, um, but leaving you feeling like the job has not been fixed, you know, and it puts it back in the hands of the viewer. Yeah, because I was saying to, to Mark and, and Rob just now about in the UK, I, I, I certainly didn't know much yeah. about this. And no. Because the, the, it's important for the film to have that, that reach because there are countries out there, especially in the UK, where we do a lot of this stuff anyway, that we don't know what's happening. I mean, exactly. That must have been such an important factor for you that, to get that story out, to make sure that everybody knew about it because they should know about it well, anyway. The, and, and the miracle is that the story would never have come out had it not sort of all, in, in many ways accidentally landed at the doorstep of this guy you know, who was working within the industry to defend and protect chemical, the chemical companies as a lawyer. And so he knew the way they operate better than anybody else. He ran, it, was a, it was a corporate defense fund, so they had the resources to actually shepherd a project of this duration and complexity through, which would not have been true for a plaintiff's attorney, for instance. Um, and so it, there's just so many series of accidents that, that made it possible. And they, if they didn't all line up exactly in this way, this story would never have come to light. Yeah, for you as a filmmaker, I mean, is it much of a balancing act between the information and, and the facts, but also the fact that you're making a, a dramatization yeah. of it in many ways? I mean, for you, is that a delicate balancing act? Is it difficult or did you find it was quite an easy thing for? No, it was, all, it was hard. It was challenging because there's such a complicated legal story to tell. There's a complicated you know, story of chemistry that's behind it all. There's a backstory that he's piecing together very third hand through accumulating that discovery process of so many documents. But you have to keep an audience emotionally engaged in what this is really about and the personal costs that the, char the central characters from Wilbur Tennant, the farmer in West Virginia, to Rob Ballot and his family, to Tom Turp, who runs Taft Law, what they're all risking and taking on. Um, but that was, the, but that, that was all there in the real story. We didn't have to fabricate it. We didn't have to tweak it or enhance it. It was true by the way these people were talking about the risks that they, that they, that they experienced and they felt psychically and emotionally. Yeah, and you have a, a fantastic ensemble. I mean, obviously Mark and Anne and Tim Robbins, but you've yeah. got these great characters like Bill Camp in there and yeah. all these other guys. I mean, it must've been great to have them as, as tools, if you like, to tell to tell this story. Because I think Bill Camp is absolutely fantastic. He's so, as well. So fantastic. And the other thing is, like, we brought these amazing actors who all really wanted to play in a sort of, you know, you know ensemble capacity in this movie and tell this story and come to Cincinnati. But they worked with local talent in Cincinnati who were so good and brought such a sense of specificity of place to this movie and their faces that you don't see in movies, right? So the f I loved watching the local talent interact with our amazing actors that we brought in from New York and LA on this film and also just being there and having the real people around those actors, informing those actors and being so generous and so helpful and telling us how to get it right. The whole process was really, really moving and powerful. Yeah, as a final question then, we, we love you as a filmmaker. Uh, what, what's, what's next for you? Do you, do, you, do you have your next thing in your head or do you, do you just wait to the, maybe no, synergy of it coming to you? And see <laughs> usually there's things in various stages and that's definitely true for, for right now. There was a, 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 
pretty exciting project. I'm doing my first documentary. It's about the Velvet Underground. Oh, wow. And we started before I switched gears to take, go off on do, and do Dark Waters but and shot all the interviews for, for the film. So I've had one editor working for 18 months on that project, and finally I'm able to pull, put myself into it, immerse Fantastic. myself, and it's so fun and so exciting. Fantastic. I look forward yeah. to that. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Absolute pleasure. pleasure. Thank Cheers. You. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!